Now let us see the classification of governors. As we can see here, a governor is classified broadly into two types, inertia governor and centrifugal governor. Inertia governors, they are not used because of their huge amount of mass or you can say weight. Centrifugal governors are preferred because they are light in weight. In centrifugal governors, they are classified as pendulum type and loaded governor. In pendulum type, we have watt governor or you can say watts governor. In loaded governor, which is also of centrifugal type, here we have dead weight governors and spring controlled. In dead weight, we have porter and proel governors. In spring controlled, we have Hartnell, Hartung, Wilson Hartnell and Pickering governor. So this was a, you can say, brief classification of governors. These much type of governors we have. Now let us start with the first type that is Porter governor. Porter governor, as we know, it comes into the category of loaded governor and loaded governor, they are in the category of centrifugal governors. So we can say that Porter governor, first of all, it is a centrifugal governor. It works on the principle of centrifugal force. Now let us see how this governor works. As we can see in this diagram, Porter governor has some parts. Here we have a spindle which would be rotating. Then there is dead weight kept. Because of the dead weight which is kept here, it is called as dead weight governor or loaded governor because of the dead weight attached. Next, there are fly, fly balls which we can see here in red color. These are the fly balls having some mass and then there is sleeve attached. What happens first of all when the engine speed increases then these fly balls they would be moving outwards. Means because of centrifugal force these fly balls they would be moving outwards when the speed of the engine increases and engine speed the governor is directly connected to the crankshaft and when the engine speed increases fly ball they move outwards now here I have a mechanism through which the shaft of the governor is connected directly to the engine fuel supply means this portion would again go and control it would be controlling the engine fuel supply now we can say that when the fly balls they are moving in outward direction this sleeve moves up and when the sleeve moves up here is a connection as we can see when the engine speed increases this spindle would be rotating when the spindle rotates this sleeve moves up and the fly balls they are moving outwards because of that what happens here there is a connection here we have a bell crank lever this would be closing this valve here i can say that we have a throttle valve here here we have a throttle so when the engine speed increases this sleeve moves up and because of that here we have a bell crank lever this would be closing this application it would be the throttle valve would close this passage that is the supply of fuel is reduced and when the supply of fuel is cut the engine again come back to its original speed this fly balls when they when the speed was increased they were moving outward now when the speed is decreased the fly balls they are moving inside because of that the sleeve is pushed downward and then this valve opens it tries to straighten and when this valve opens the fuel supply is increased and again the engine speed is maintained 
so as we have seen in this way by using the governor the fuel supply will be maintained and governor is connected so here we can see that governor is directly connected to the engine crankshaft and as the speed of the engine increases this spindle would start rotating at a very high velocity because of that since we are having flyball which have masses the centrifugal force is generated and these flyballs they try to move outwards and when the flyball try to move outwards the sleeve gets lifted and the fuel supply here it is cut off this throttle valve will try to close this passage and then the fuel supply to the engine this is the fuel supply is to the engine this fuel supply goes on reducing and as we can say when the fuel supply is reduced engine speed is it comes back to its original value and when it has reached the original value these fly balls they move inside pushing the sleeve downward when the sleeve is pulled pushed downward then this passage again opens the throttle valve will try to be straight it would be try to be vertical and this space is fully opened and the fuel supply increases so as we have seen when the speed of the engine is increased speed increases because the load on the engine is decreased and when the load is on the engine is decreased speed is increased we reduce the fuel supply here and when we can say that the speed the load on the engine decreases its speed increases and when the load on the engine is increased its speed decreases and accordingly the flywheel or you can say here we have governor this governor would be controlling the supply of working fluid to the engine and maintaining a constant speed so this was regarding a brief working of a governor all the governors which we have they have such kind of control over the fuel supply the only difference in the types of governor is in the construction of that here we are having porter governor which has dead weight similarly we can have some another kind of governor only difference would be in the construction of the parts otherwise the working is same for a all types of governor